Now that we've got all our legs set up, we're going to go ahead and talk about setting fall and leveling all the legs. Uh, in order for this bench system to work as a, uh, uh, an above drip system that drains at the end, we're going to add fall to it. A standard ebb and flow bench uh, will be set up static or level uh, in order to just maintain the water that is in the trains. For, the, for this setup, we're going to be using a drainage system. What we're going to do is start up here at the top end of the room. This leg here has already been set and leveled. What we've done is we've lifted the leg up, we've secured the hardware on the side, and we've leveled the top and the face. With our struts in place, we've gone ahead and strung all the way down our run to the other leg. The bottom leg at the end of the room has also been leveled, the same procedure. What this allows us to do is to set our fall. Our fall is generally about a quarter inch per leg set, meaning that in this situation with eight legs, we're gonna have two inches of total fall. This leg right now is set at 17 inches to the top, which is gonna give us a 22 inch height at the table. At the bottom, we've gone ahead and set the bench leg at 15 inches, which is the minimum. We have up to six inches of adjustment in these, meaning you could have up to six inches of fall over whatever distance you have. We have our spacing in between our string and our other table legs. All of our legs are set right now without hardware and without any sort of lift in them at all. They're all sitting right on the ground as far down as we can get them. We wanna make sure that we start at one end, moving the legs up as we go without disturbing the string. Generally, we want to see about a 25 foot maximum span on the string. Because of the uh, condition of the floor in this room where it has a little bit of a rise in the middle of it, we've gone ahead and strung the full length. And what we set up over here is a laser. And this is just a rotating laser that we've leveled. The height of the laser itself doesn't matter. All it's going to allow us to do is to measure down from the laser line and compare that line at both ends. What that does is allows us to make sure that our string hasn't sagged excessively in the center. We don't want to create a swale in the bench. All of our legs in the center right now are at the full down position without hardware in them. We don't put the hardware in yet because depending on the position, your bolt holes may change. Maintaining this gap is important as we move along because we don't want the string to be disturbed. And when we do go to set our gap, we're going to be bringing the leg up to the string but not touching the string. We're just gonna leave a little air gap. By using the two strings, rather than just a single string down the middle, allows us to better keep table level as well. Let's us check our work. So as we go through, we're gonna have a level on it while we're doing it, but we also just wanna make sure that we're coming up both sides, almost to the string but not touching it, fastening our leg to our lower leg, and then moving on to the next one. This is the easiest and the most accurate way to do it. By simply doing a measurement from here to the floor is not accurate. You will not get a level bench doing it without strings. The reason is the floor very, very, very rarely is level. Using the string allows us to circumvent any unevenness in the floor. Starting at the first leg, you'll notice with it all the way down, we are almost at the string to start with. Just because we're going a quarter inch per leg doesn't mean each leg is going to be a quarter inch off. Once again, because of the condition of the floor, you may have a very different result. You may even have a large gap right at the end with small gaps in the middle. It's all going to depend on the condition of the floor. Because our string is right at the top here, we're gonna go ahead, cinch this side down, move on to the other side. With our level, we can check and make sure that the leg is level, where I have it all the way down right now, and it needs to come up according to the level. Once we bring it up and the level is accurate, we're right at the string, exactly where we want to be. 